there's a common misconception that says that doing righteousness is just not doing the wrong thing. So people think, you know, a lot of believers, a lot of carnal worldly believers who might be saved, they might be false converts, but let's just say they're saved, but they're just carnal. You know, they, you know, this, the watered down, you know, they, they're into the new modern Bible versions, but they do believe the gospel. They'll tell you it's by faith alone and Christ alone. You can't lose it and that you have eternal life today. You know what I'm saying? They'll, they'll give you the fundamentals on salvation basics the necessities so they're saved but they think righteousness is not doing certain things so because they don't fornicate or because they um don't get drunk anymore you know it's like you know these it's like a list or a group of these specific sins you know fornication drinking drugs you know whatever you want to put to that group they think just because they're not doing those things that they are exercising righteousness. And while it's good to abstain from those things because God commands it, but that's a commandment from God. Righteousness is also doing what God tells you to do. You know, you, you people have this conception or this misconception that it's that you could be a zero Christian. You know, you could be a believer who's not doing any work for God, but still thinks he's right with God because he's saved and doesn't do certain things. Well, that's not what the word of God teaches. Jesus says that, and this is like, I mean, I only need one verse to prove this. Is, is listen very carefully. He says, if you don't gather with him, you scatter abroad. So people think, well, I'm not really winning souls or I'm not preaching the word to the lost or people out in the world, but I still love God. Well, Jesus says you scatter abroad. You're scattering the sheep if you're not gathering with him, he says. Okay? And that goes for every person that's saved. We're all called to preach the gospel. That's the Great Commission, you know? And, yeah, we have pastors and we have leaders in the church, you know, people of authority in God's church, in his local church. But, you know, they're not supposed to do all the work. You know, they're just supposed to be in samples to the flock, teaching or showing us, you know, how it's supposed to be done, leading the charge. But, you know, you can't be a zero Christian. You know, you can't sit here and say you're right with God. And and they always love to throw this out like, oh, you don't know my heart. God knows my heart. Well, you know what? The Bible says that the heart is desperately wicked. And who can know it? You know, your Bible says that a fool trusted in his own heart. And, you know, I could sit there and make that excuse. Well, God knows I love him in my heart. Jesus says, if you love me, keep my commandments. He says, here it is. He that keepeth not my sayings, loveth me not. You know, he said, if you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, he it is that loveth me will keep my sayings. Those are his words, what he says. I mean, it's just so clear, you know, and I've heard people say, well, I talk to God every day and I have a relationship with Jesus. The word relationship isn't even in the Bible. And God says, abide in his word. He says, the words that I speak unto you are spirit and they are life. That is Jesus Christ. Not this fake relationship that you created in your mind. And I'm sorry if it's offensive, but if you want the truth, this is the truth. You know, I'm, they always love to say that I talk to God every day. So me and him have a good relationship. There are people unsaved that think they talk to God every day and they have a relationship with God. It's an imagination and God commands people to repent of their imagination. As a matter of fact, he tells us, his people, that we are to cast down every imagination and any high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. So if anything somebody tells you or believes or tries to teach you that goes against the knowledge of God, God says to cast that down. And that's exactly what I'm doing with this whole, I have a relationship in my heart. I talk to God thing. It's, it's crap. It's not, it's not comely for the saints of God in these last days. We have, we have to preach his word. They need the word. That's where the power is at. But that's the one thing people like to forsake. If you think about it, they don't want to read the Bible. Not only they don't want to read it, they don't want to preach it. 
like I said, and it, and it just, and it mask and all of these fake churches that don't go soul winning or don't send out soul winners. Well, I believe Jesus said, I'll take your candlestick out of this place. Jesus probably doesn't even re recognize a lot of these places as churches. He's not there in them. So, you know, I think he'll, he'll turn, he'll take it. And, you know, you're just actually scattering. You're not just being a zero, like negative. Well, I mean, not uh, you no, know, you know, riding that the fence you're making you're actually being a harm to the cause of christ because you're scattering and then it gives people an alternative to real biblical disciple you know being the lord god's disciple doing his work when people aren't so winning you have an alternative to go to those churches instead of going to a church that actually preaches the gospel time to